Welcome to Ability Analysis, where we shall analyze the unlockable alternate abilities in the game before acting like a bunch of astrophysicists and pretend like we know what we're doing. Today, we shall be taking a look at the Dark Flower and all of its statistics and quirks. Let's get started. The Dark Flower is an alternate ability to the Heal Flower that can be unlocked through opening sticker packs. The ability functions exactly the same in terms of placing it down and the flower lasting for up to 30 seconds if it is not killed beforehand. However, aside from these, the Dark Flower functions differently. It has 100 health, making it quite durable for a potted plant. When enemies come within the surprisingly long range of the Dark Flower, it will begin to attack them, shooting out in bursts of 5 at a rate of 1500 rounds per minute. Each shot fired can deal 5 damage for a normal hit and 6 damage for a critical hit. The Dark Flower's damage output does drop noticeably at range, with it going down to 3 damage for a normal hit and 3.6 for a critical hit. The Dark Flower does not dispense any form of healing, and much like the standard Heal Flower, goes on a 35 second cooldown once placed. Now, to compare the two, which is better, and why? Well, the standard heal flower offers the player a source of not only reliable self-healing, but also in healing that teammates can use whilst you are either busy doing something else or need an extra layer of sustain in long-term fights. However, the heal flower does not help out much when in scenarios where extra firepower is needed, and its low health pool of 75 does make it fairly easy to take down. On the other hand, the Dark Flower provides quite a bit of firepower, which can be useful in not only defending yourself, but in also as a safety system, should an enemy attempt to flank you. Its health pool of 100 does make it quite durable for how small it is, and often makes it last long enough for players to either just flee, or cause a distraction. Though it provides absolutely no healing, so the player will be sacrificing a critical source of healing that both yourself and allies may need. Both flowers can last up to 30 seconds upon being placed. So, with the comparisons out of the way, which is better at what? Well, if you're wanting a source of reliable healing alongside your heal beam, as well as a way to heal yourself in fights, then the standard heal flower is your go-to option. If however, you are wanting some more potential firepower, as well as a way to distract and annoy the shit out of enemies then the Dark Flower is your go-to option. As for my final verdict, across all scenarios and capabilities, for the first time in this series, the verdict is based entirely on what variant the user is playing as. If the user is playing with variants that already have a level of self-sustain, such as Vampire Flower or Stuffy, or a variant that has situational damage like Alien Flower, the Dark Flower will synergize greatly with them. But if you're playing variants like Fire Flower, Metal Petal, or Mystic Flower, then the Heal Flower will be much better, since these variants already have access to good damage, but don't have any form of self-sustain, and would greatly benefit from the self-healing. This will be the last episode of the Ability Analysis series, a special thanks to everyone who has kept watching the series all the way through its year-long runtime. Be sure to come back for the start of the new build series in 2 weeks. Thanks for watching, and don't forget to subscribe for more shit like this. Have fun.